Hi everyone, in this video we'll be discussing the problem remove k digits and this problem has been asked in a lot of companies. So let us quickly read the problem statement. So the problem says that we'll be given a non-negative integer s and the s will be given in form of a string. Okay, so the digits will be like characters for us here and we have to remove exactly k digits from the number such that the new number that we are getting it is the smallest possible. So suppose that if we have got 149 eight one one here okay and the k value has been given as three so you can observe that what are the k, what are the digits that we can remove we can remove four nine and eight and then we will get what we'll get triple one that is one 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 and this is the smallest possible that we can get after removing three digits and that is the answer as well so how can we solve this particular problem okay so for this we need to build our intuition now what happens is suppose that if I will give you a simpler example let's say if I'll give you 9 then 7 and then 3 and if I'll give you the k value let's say as 1 so then when you'll be at 9 so you will say that you cannot make any decision then when you come to 7 okay so you will see that before 7 what happens is before 7 the character or the digit that is there it is it is greater than it so you will remove it okay be you will remove it because you want the least number possible so you'll remove 9 from here and your k value will decrease by 1 so it will become 0 and after removal so 973 will now behave like what 73 Okay, so that is the main thing that for a ith digit, if the digit before it, if it is greater, then you need to remove it. That is the main idea. I hope that this idea is clear to everyone. Now, after this, if you will see, so let us say that we have, uh, we have got what we have got uh, something like one, then uh, four, then nine, then eight, one, one. Okay, if we have got this thing, then whenever I am at a particular character, so I want to access the last character. I want to access the character before it. So which data structure can come to my mind, which can help me to access the last character or the character just before it. Why I'm saying this? Because suppose I will be here. If you will see, so I, I might remove eight. I might remove nine as well. See, when I'll be at uh, eight, then I will remove nine. Then after that, uh, when I'll be at one, then I'll remove eight as well. But when I'll be at one, then I need, need to remove four as well. So I need to, at one, I need to access four. So which data structure is there, which can help me to access the last element. So last and first out concept is coming to my mind. So when last and first out concept comes to my mind, then the stack data structure is automatically going to be used. Okay. Now what we will do here is suppose that the K value for this test case is basically three. So if the K value for this test case is basically three, then what we will do is initially we will declare our stack and let's say you will uh, insert one because the stack was empty. Then after that, uh, what you will do is you will go to the IA, uh, next character that is four. For four, the top is not greater than it. So you'll insert four. Then you will go to nine for nine. Also, the top is not greater. So you will insert nine. Then for eight, the top is greater than uh, the the IA character. So you will pop out a nine and K will become two. Then after that, still you are at eight and the top is not greater because the top is four and it is not greater. So you will insert eight. Then you go to one. When you go to one, then for one, the top is greater than it. So you will remove one. Okay. And you will say that K value becomes one. Now it decreases. Then again, still you are at one. And since nine was already removed, it was removed. So for one, now you need wanted to access four and how you are able to access the last guy by using the stack. So now you are able to access four. So for one, uh, because now the number is looking like one, four, one, one. Okay. And we need to remove one digit. And currently we are at this one. So what is at the top of the stack four? So is it greater? Is the top of the stack greater than the ith character or the ith digit? You can say yes. So I will pop it out and then you will pop it out and the K value will become zero. When it becomes zero, then what will happen? The remaining characters you will insert inside the stack and then you will just do your process. But like you might think that, okay, what will we, what we'll do after this is we will just take out the characters one by one and then we will insert, uh, like, then we will just print it. No, suppose that instead of, uh, having one, one at the end, suppose that what we had was if we had uh, two, three at the end, okay, then we would have inserted one, then two, and then three. So when we would have taken the characters out, they would have come out in this format that is three to one, but actually the final number should be one, two, three. So whenever you will get things out of the stack, then after that you need to reverse the answer as well. Okay, that is also one more thing important. Also, if if suppose that you are having zero 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 one two three somehow, then you need to trim the or you need to remove the starting zeros. You don't want to give the starting zeros in your answer. Okay, that is also one more thing. Now, suppose that what might happen is if we are given a test case where we are given something like uh, let's say one, then seven, and then nine. 
okay and the k value is supposed to then in this case what can you do so in this case what you will do is let's say initially you'll be at one okay then after that you'll be at seven then you'll be at nine you will insert all these characters inside the stack because uh for seven also the digit before it is lesser than it and for nine also it is lesser so you will you cannot do anything now since it's even after uh iterating throughout the string the k value is still remaining so for that many times you will pop out the top elements of the stack so you'll pop this guy out and then you will pop this guy out so two times you will pop out and then one will will be left so you can see that from 179 we are directly getting one that is the smallest number so if after the iteration if k value is still greater than zero then you can simply do what you can simply pop out the top characters of the stack this is how we need to implement it so let us try and write the code of this problem and see how we can implement this problem okay so let us say that we have been given the string and let me declare a stack and let's say the stack will be containing the characters so let's say char st okay and then we already have the string so what we will do first of all is we'll iterate in the string so i starts from zero and then i is less than s dot size okay then we will do an i plus plus here after this what you are going to do here is guys that you will check that while the stack size is greater than zero so if the stack is not empty first thing and the k value is greater than zero so this means we need to remove some characters and the top character of the stack currently if it is greater than the ith character of my string then we need to do what then we need to pop out uh, the top character of the stack and we need to decrease our k as simple as that okay this is what we will do and after this we need to insert the ith character inside the uh, stack so after popping out from the stack like uh, whenever the process while loop ends in between then we will push the ith character inside the stack and then we'll proceed to the next character okay after this is done so we also need to do one more thing that suppose that if the stack size is greater than zero so if the if we are still containing some elements okay and the k value is, is still greater than zero so we want to remove the elements so in that case we will remove the top element so we will do what we will simply do k minus minus uh, first thing and then we will do st dot pop as well okay so this is what we are going to do and uh, after this part is done so what is the next thing that we should do so after this is done then we should simply say that we need to declare a string let's say answer okay and initially we'll mark it as empty then what we will do here is we'll simply iterate so int uh, i starts uh, like we'll simply iterate in the stack and we'll push the characters one by one so while the stack dot size let's say it is greater than zero okay so if the stack is having elements then i'll say that answer dot push back or basically inside the string we'll keep on adding so you can also do answer uh, like yeah we can just do pushback that will be also fine you can do answer plus equal to as well so inside the answer we'll push back the uh, top of the stacks one by one and pop them out at the same time so i think what i can do for that is let's say char ch is equal to st dot top okay and then let's say i'll pop it out okay and then we can simply insert the character here so we'll insert the character here and once this is done then what's next or what is the next thing that we are going to do so once this part is done then we need to reverse our answer so we'll say that reverse answer dot begin comma answer dot end because the stack will end up reversing our number so that's why we need to reverse the answer once again in order to get to this thing now once this is done then the next thing is that we need to remove the trailing uh, starting zeros so we can say that let's say j starts from zero okay uh, so we can declare a variable let's say j starting from zero and then we can simply do what we can simply say that while the j that is there uh, suppose suppose that while the jth character currently is zero okay and at the same time the like while the jth character let's say is greater than uh, zero and the uh, let's say the jth character of the answer if it is greater than zero and the size of my answer is a string if it is greater than one so if it has more than one characters and the starting is zero then i need to do j plus plus as long as possible now once this is done then what will i do then after that we will simply say that if the j is not equal to zero if the j is not equal to zero then we can say that we can ext ext extract the substring because if the j is not equal to zero this means j must have moved uh and remove the starting zeros so after this only i will be able to extract the substring okay so if the j is uh, greater than uh, zero and the j is less than answer dot size so if this is the case then in such a scenario i need to simply return the substring uh by removing the 
starting j characters that are basically zero in nature because i i don't want starting zeros in my number so what i can do here is i can simply return uh s dot sub str okay and then i can write j so this will help me to remove the starting zeros okay then after that i need to also check suppose that if the j is equal to answer dot size uh sorry answer dot size i should have written okay so if the j is equal to suppose answer dot size so if the j pointer is pointing at the end of the string so if suppose that all the characters were zero then we need to simply return a single uh zero string okay so single number we need to return as zero uh suppose that what happens if the answer that we generated it it was empty basically if it was empty then we need to return what then we need to return uh the uh zero indicating that there is no number like the, the number remaining is zero okay now otherwise like if after all these edge cases if the no number was we were able to form the number then we return that number okay let's try and uh, quickly see if the code is getting compiled or not okay so i have made a couple of mistakes i think uh, let me just make it as small k here and here also i'll make it as small k apart from this there are two return statements written so let me check yeah i have written two return statements so i'll remove it now let's try and run it and see what are the mistakes that we are having now so uh k was not declared okay so i should write small k again here as well okay apart from this line number 26 i have already checked is there any other line yeah here also i can check i think now it should get compiled properly let's see okay you can see it is working fine on the samples let's try and submit it and see if it is getting accepted or not so let us submit it And you can clearly see that our code was able to pass all the test cases that have been given. So I hope that you understood this problem clearly. In case if you have any doubts, so you can ask in the comments. Thank you for watching this video.